across to get to the centre, and Emu Jones will pick up a free kick here, right in the centre of the ground. The Trove Valley centre half forward, well up the ground. He's going to the outer side, looking for Bransgrove. Bransgrove beaten for pace here, but he, no, he's picked up a yard in front of Higgins. Gets into the forward line. John Gallus is down there. It's over. It's <laughs> players have overrun the ball and it's over towards the boundary line. It's a hand pass there with Ray Sweeney after the ball. Runs right through Higgins. Great play, Higgins. Uh, great play, uh, Sweeney. And the ball will go over the line out of bounds. No, Sweeney's still there. He's kept it in. Bellingor with the ball. Into the full forward line. Peter Boyce is there and pushes his opponent in the back. And that's Ferring. And Ferring will pick up the free kick right in the Bendigo back line. Right in the... Out towards the uh, centre wing division it goes, but cut off beautifully there. Down it goes, picked up for the Bendigo league, put out wide. Who's going to come into this? It's all yours, Carl Vesti. You're the only one there. And a great little mark to Carl Vesti right in front of our broadcast position. Yes, and a short pass for Vesti down to Stan Davidson. Davidson marked this well within kicking distance. He'd be 35 metres out on a slight, oh, on 45 degree angle. He's directly in front of us, Stan Davidson, so we'll have a perfect view from here. Stanley Davidson, a very accurate kick, of course, and let's see if he can register the Trove Valley's first major. It's just going, it's a good looking kick, I'll tell you what, that's right through the middle. Goal, Magnificent Davidson. goal, Stan Davidson. Out towards the, here's Cal Vesti coming in, all on his own. If he's good enough to get around Davey, he's not. He hand passes to Gieschen, no, it's Sweeney. Sweet. Sweeney now is all dressed up with nowhere to go, he's on the pocket. Here's a chance for, a beautiful mark right in front of goal by Peter Boyce. Oh, terrific stuff. That was well done, uh, Ray Sweeney. He balked around, amazing agility for a big fellow. He, uh, Graham Corley, it that he had nowhere to go but well, he got away and uh, he's 10 metres out incidentally just before he kicks it Peter Boyce and you can put this one down in your little red book I'd say yes that. certainly Peter Boyce won't miss this one he's lighting up now and he'll pop this through for the Trove Valley second goal no doubt about that the goal umpire hasn't moved around the centre wing for Benigo underneath it Curly Salmon magnificent mark Curly Salmon on the centre wing just stemming the tide there's a kick into the centre, it's beautifully positioned, two, and underneath it there we find is Gavin Bransgrove playing a great game too, Bransgrove. He's put that right down the throat on this occasion of his teammate. A hand pass to Davidson, Davidson towards the goals. Great accuracy, Davidson underneath it is Gavin to the goal, goal, I think. Yes, it's a goal. Let's check goal. it, it's a beautiful goal, Stanley Davidson. Yes. Pasco with the ball now, he'd be 50 metres out, directly in front. He's having a bit of trouble with this cricket pitch area. It's be, uh, he'll probably kick it in uh, front of the cricket pitch, I'd say. Big Ian Salmon on the mark. Pasco with the ball now lining up for what could be Bendigo's first goal. It's just off line, however. It's going to fall short. Up in front was best. The ball's on the ground now. A heap of players in there. We can't see a thing. There's a shot from Bendigo here. I can't see that player. Graham, who kicked it, but it's a Bendigo missed. goal. That's the best. Picked yes. it up like a rover and snapped it with his left foot. And that's Ron Best's first goal. Tommy Bell. Beautifully done, Stan Davidson. He's caught, trapped, pushed, and he'll get a free kick for sure. Right, and Stan Davidson lucky, is going to scrape himself up the ground. And, and a 15 metre penalty too has gone against the Bendigo side and that will be taking Stan Davidson up forward. He goes quickly looking for Meredith who's on the ground and Meredith has marked the ball on the half forward flank. Good stuff Neil Meredith. Now have your shot son because he's uh, 40 metres out and he could almost kick this. He's going for the short pass looking for Ray Sweeney. It's a good pass. Oh. Sweeney in front and he's marked it. Great pass Neil Meredith. Good lead Ray Sweeney and Sweeney is now 30 metres out on a 45 degree angle and let's see if Ray Sweeney can notch the Trove Valley's third and his first. Fourth. Fourth, I'm sorry. 3-2 Latrobe Valley to 117 Bendigo. Ray Sweeney taking plenty of time here. He's a lovely kick, Ray Sweeney. Runs around a little bit of a circle, and that's consequently it's out of, out of bounds. bounds on the full. Uh, it, in fact, it's been marked over there. No, oh, it's, it's out of bounds Southcombe. on the full. Bounce of the ball in the centre, big men fly, Petch in the front position there, ball directed to the ground, picked up by uh, Peter Hall, Hall for the Latrobe Valley, will find, uh, I was going to say Foster out there, but it's underneath him, punched away, very nicely taken here off the hands by Lanigan, Lanigan to Southcombe, Southcombe, he knows how to hook the ball, coming through Peter Hall, couldn't trap it, it's going to be trouble here for the Valley, but oh, Curly Salmon, watch out, Tyak, he's trapped that beautifully, he's a good player, this fellow, a whole five foot five of him, down towards the full four division, Beveridge, punching the ball away from Best, down to the ground it goes, Bruiser Williams in there for Bendigo, comes around the boundary line, runs into Jack Gallus, Maroney it is, Peter Maroney, just about in the centre wing division, he went for the hand pass to Tyak, decided against it, eventually gave it across there, looking for and finding Fife, Fife down towards the half forward line, Jack Gallus, his big hands got there, I thought he held that long enough, but no, said the call, and oh, Bendigo into attack, here, here comes McCarro, well stopped there by Peter Hall, he allowed his, oh gee, I thought Tackle that was a little bit high, Graham. No, Did you? I thought he enough. tackled pretty fairly there, but anyway, the umpire said no, and it's going to be a free kick to be taken by 
Peter, well, I thought McKerro was the player infringed against. Yes, he was. Lovell took it off him. But it's going to be uh, Steve McKerro on the half forward flank. And he's only 25 metres out for goal. And I would imagine the second goal for the BFL will be registered here. On its way, yes, they're clapping as it goes through. Nobody is moving. And it's Steve McKerro's first for the afternoon. But anyway, it's Davey again, that brick wall at centre half back. Down towards the centre half forward division with that left foot of his. Tom Beveridge in front. Best from behind. Oh, magnificent, magnificent mark from mark Best. Yes, a magnificent mark to Ron Best, and I would imagine that he would put this straight through the centre from 25 metres out from goal and register his second and the Bendigo Football League's third to bring them within four points of the LBFL. Doesn't miss many, Ronnie Best. Goes back on its way. Hasn't missed that either. Magnificent kick of the ball, magnificent mark. It's half time here at the Queen Elizabeth Oval, and the culmination of the BCFL Championships is about 50 minutes away after the 20 minute break. That's a shocking looking kick. However, it'll work because it's, got, it's landed right in the hands of Dale Foster, directly in front, 20 metres out. And I would say we'll have to wait on that. That's not a good-looking kick. It's yes, a goal, it though. By gee, that'll do. Hartney turns, nicely centres it back, but here's uh, uh, Big Len Patch under the ball, beautifully takes it over the top of his opponent, and uh, he will drive the ball across to the centre half forward division to Gishan, who uh, has taken that ball momentarily before his opponent came in in Gary Evans. Couldn't see the benefit there, but uh, however, Gishan has the ball at centre half forward, going for a short pass, and he's going to find this fellow in Bellingall, and that's good play of the trade, Belly. They're starting to hand pass the ball and move it on at all costs, as you mentioned, Jimmy Hart has said to them. The hand passing very good. Tommy Beveridge took a very good mark and hand passed to Peter Campbell. We see Bellingall now, 40 metres out, directly in front, more or less. And it's a good looking kick, I'll tell you what, that's almost a goal, Graham. And I would say that uh, if we're any judges and the Trove Valley keep this up, uh, there could be curtains uh, for the Bendigo League forward line. Let's check the score. 6 9 45 Kega Finance score for the Trove Valley, 4 5 29 for the Bendigo Football League. The bounce up takes place, Geishan takes the ball out of the centre, comes to the ground, strangely enough, and it's landed on the ground again, very seldom the ball's been on the ground, Dale Foster on the van here, kicks it off the ground, keeps it out wide, Peter Boyce in there, and Dale Foster picks it up beautifully, Dale Foster, well shepherded by Peter Boyce, down the race, Sweeney direction, a mark to Sweeney, magnificent, magnificent mark to Sweeney, from B yes, and that was a mark of a champion, Ray Sweeney, and he's put this on its way, and that's right through the middle, Ray Sweeney, great goal, pal. Sweeney made way for him there, and Demi Jones is uh, 45 metres out on a very acute angle. Emu Jones, a very good kick here. A very good kick needed, but a very good kick usually. And it's a good looking kick. It's right in the teeth of goal. Up high is uh, uh, Bendigo. They push the ball out wide. Comes out here, we find Higgins with the ball. Higgins uh, didn't take the ball cleanly. Coming out wide is Rodder. Rodder gets a ball onto his boot. Lenny Petch can't mark the ball. Here's a chance for Stan Davidson. Tackled high by Davey. Oh, he's hit high, Davidson, but play on's a call. That was a nasty knock, but he's up against Stanley Davidson. And the ball's been marked here for Bendigo. And a hand pass out wide coming out here. And Bendigo for our forward again. Graham, you have to yes, it's marked right in front of us by Eric Pascoe. Pascoe went for the uh, hand pass, decided against it. It's up forward. All the trophy valley up there, but it drops to the ground. Gives the chance here for the Bendigo Peter Lovell. Lovell up in the best direction, and he's got the mark. Peter, Peter Hall now down towards centre half forward. Coming out is Dale Foster. Trapped the ball on the ground. A quick hand pass to Murray Frew. He tries to break a couple of tackles. Gets it to Geeshan. Geeshan breaks back through the pack. Stan Davidson calling for it, but Geeshan decides to quickly put it down, and there's a mark to oh, race when he dead stuff. in front. Evans with a hand pass, but here's danger. Stanley Davidson with the run of the ball. Gets away from his opponent nicely. Oh, it's a smothered kick, but it goes straight to Emu Jones. Emu Jones now, 30 metres out in a 45 degree angle, directly in front of us. Hope he's got his kicking boot on this time. Running a little wide, and I'd say that's wide too. No, it's come no. back, Graham, that's right a goal. Right through the centre. Yes, and that takes the throw belly now to eight goals, ten. 58, the Bendigo League, 4 7 31. And, and uh, he's given it on this occasion to Peter Moroni. Moroni with a short pass. Davis, oh, oh Davidson dear, dear. cannon on the top of his opponent there. And it's play on very quickly. The mark taken by Gary Evans. Evans breaks around. Umpire having a bit of a talk to Stan Davidson, too. He puts it up wide and finds his teammate up there. He's collared, however, as they run around the boundary line. Short pass into uh, the big fellow up there. And it's down towards the full forward division. A nice yeah. shot for goal coming up, but it's wide and through for one behind. I tell you. Picked up now by Murray Froon, kicked forward into the hands of Dale Foster again. He's going very well, Dale Foster. A flying shot for goal and looking pretty good, Dale Foster. That's a goal. Magnificent goal, Dale Foster. McClure was the fellow. Southcombe gets a lovely knockout to Williams. Williams gets the ball up to centre-half forward. Up behind uh, Bendigo, coming out nicely and a uh, kick hit a crouch. Crouch down the centre of the ground, looking for Best. Best takes it on the first bounce. Swings onto his left foot, and that's a lovely snap over his shoulder. He's put that right Great through goal. Ronnie Best. Great goal and a team lifter, Ronnie Best. 
Best is marked the ball on the half forward flank for the Trove Valley and will drive them into attack. Going for a short pass, looking for Peter Hall, and he found that player, and Hall could score from here. He's 30 metres out, 35 perhaps, directly in front, and uh, with every chance to bring up the Trove Valley's 10th goal. The Trove Valley, through Peter Hall, missed one uh, in this quarter before, but let's see if he can uh, make amends. It's on its it way, pretty looks pretty good from here, Peter Hall. So we find at the moment there is uh, four goals, five, or 29 points between the two sides. There is the bounce. Adlam and Petch up high. Adlam got that knock, and one of the few he's missed, but Howard Murray Frew gets the ball forward. Peter Boyce caught behind, but he's marked the ball nicely, Peter Boyce. But there's plenty of leads being made, and here's one from Ray Sweeney. Beautiful pass, Peter Boyce. Beautiful lead, Ray Sweeney. Lining up now, 35 metres out. Directly in front, and that's better kick, Ray Sweeney. There's no doubt about that one. That's right. Which showed the La Trobe Valley 11-11-77, the BFL 5-12-42. Yes, the throw in Southcombe gets a lovely knock over the back towards Tyak. Tyak couldn't do it, however. Gallus streaming out from that back line. Played quite well, Johnny Gallus. Gets into Murray Frew. I thought a, a free kick to or a, a, um, a mark to Murray Frew. It wasn't, however. And that's the end of the quarter. And what a great quarter for La Trobe Valley. And Higgins on the half-forward flank will take possession of the ball. Just about on centre wing, slightly towards the half-forward flank. Gets his right boot into the ball, kicks it wide over there, giving every chance for Ron Best, who's underneath it. Oh, Gallus gets shoved in the back. But he's, oh, he's taken the mark over there. Oh, gee, what a mark. What a great mark. Ron Best, 20 metres out from goal, will not miss this one if I know Bestie. He's put it on its way. Salmon says that's right through the centre, Ron Best. Well, uh, Peter Boyce had him and Dale Foster grabbed him too high. Evans with a short pass. I can't see who he's got. Southcombe's got the ball now. A short kick looking for Higgins. He's found Higgins and Bransgrove not picking him up. Uh, I see Lenny Petch telling him to pick Higgins up and he just wasn't tight enough. Higgins a long kick, a high kick into the end. Not a very good looking kick. That's been marked very nicely indeed. Not now, Geeshan is about 40 metres out from goal. He can kick a ball long enough, uh, Jeff Geeshan. Let's see if he's accurate enough. It's on its way. Heading towards the... Oh, I tell you what, it's not a bad looking kick, I don't think, Jeff Geeshan. Right yeah, through the centre, Jeffrey Geeshan. Contest is out there. Uh, we find Big Len Petch, and up he goes and gets it again for about the 800th time. Peter Lynch breaks through the pack beautifully, puts it up towards the full forward area, and a great mark oh. pulled down by Sweeney. Anderson. It's on its way, and it's swinging back beautifully for another goal for the Latrobe Valley, and they are now 13-11-90 to 6-13-49. Oh, beautiful oh, play. play there. Goal coming up for the uh, Bendigo Football League. Off the boots on that occasion of Gary Crouch. It's on its way, and it's another tremendous goal there for the Valley. Robert Bellingall putting it through magnificently. Evans breaks away with sheer pace. Great pass here to Higgins. A hand pass that was. Higgins down towards Best. And he's got the mark right at Best. Great player, Best. Brilliant. Reads the ball beautifully. Shouldn't miss this if we know Ron Best, if everything he tells us is true, or they tell us about him is true, and he hasn't. There's the kick towards centre-half forward. A mark to Curly Salmon coming up here at the centre-half back division. He gets his left boot onto the ball, puts it high there, looking for Dale Foster. Davy with the sit on this occasion, but Dale Foster, oh, beautifully tiny, just plays on, leaving them flat-footed. Up in the full forward direction it goes. To the ground, coming through Peter Boyce. Let's see if you can kick a goal, Boyce. He's pushed over. To the ground it goes. Shot towards goal, but it's going wide. It'll be defence for the Bendy go football league chasing in there is Vesti. Vesti can't get there in time back towards the center wing good mark peter boyce now boyce goes the short pass this will pay off too right down the throat of peter hall it's on its way you have no oh, i think he might have missed that let's check it yes one point only peter hall we'll try. coming off there is maroney look at this fellow run they're playing across the ground though the trove valley evans has the ball it goes out here to hartney it's too high for Hartney. He's set him up, but beautifully done, Hartney. As he comes off that centre wing, a kick in the centre half forward, and he's found that fellow. Macero. And Macero. Macero in the best. Best fumbles it. He's, <laughs> but he's pulled it in at the last minute, Ronnie Best. By gee, does he know where the goals are? Kicks through the ball very nicely indeed. Well, I think it should be nice. There's the there sirens. Goes. And the Latrobe Valley Football League have been victorious in what has been a magnificent game of football here this afternoon. And the Latrobe Valley Football League 15-12, 15-12-102 have defeated the Bendigo Football League 9-something. I'm not real sure what that ended up over there, Cookie. Was it 9-15? 9654 uh, 64 69 I had it down as 70 but we'll put it down as a 33 point victory to the Latrobe Valley Football League